I'm optimizing this gaming PC from the TikTok shop for max FPS. All right, so this right here is the TikTok shop gaming PC that I'm gonna be optimizing. And this PC actually costs only around $450. So this thing is definitely really, really cheap for a gaming PC. And for such a cheap price, you guys already know the specs aren't the best. So hopefully I can optimize this PC to get its maximum FPS. And if I recall correctly, I'm pretty sure this PC can only run about like 120 FPS. I did test this PC out a few weeks back. It wasn't the best PC, but I definitely know I can optimize this thing. And hopefully this thing could run a pretty stable and consistent FPS afterwards. So yeah, it does come with like an entire peripheral set, which is pretty cool. So right here is the TikTok shop gaming PC. And like I said, this thing does cost $450, which I mean is a really, really cheap price for a gaming PC. And you guys can kind of tell from this PC, it's definitely really, really small. It does have a pretty cool like PC case. I give it that but other than that the specs are definitely not the best and yeah i'll honestly consider this a low-end gaming pc because if you guys take a look at the specs side of this pc the gpu is the rx 580 which is definitely a really low-end gpu and i think this gpu is also pretty old so the highest this thing could get you is probably like a maximum of consistent 60 fps or so maybe sometimes pushing like 110 and then behind this cpu cooler we have an intel core i5 11400f so yeah, the CPU and GPU for this pre-built gaming PC, definitely not the best. I tested this out before and it ran around like 80 to 90 FPS in game. But the problem with this PC is there are a ton of frame drops. So hopefully I can optimize this thing and get it a lot more consistent frames and also a much higher max FPS. And also inside of this PC is a 16 gig of DDR4 memory. And initially I thought this thing only had eight gigs of memory just because there was only one stick of RAM. But now that I know there's 16 gigs of memory, this actually allows me to optimize this thing a lot better. And let's go ahead and try to get this PC to its maximum FPS. Now, PCs like these on TikTok, most of them have super bad specs like this PC, but they're really eye-catching with their RGB, as you guys can see, which is why a lot of people actually still buy these PCs. They see these really nice RGB and literally just buy the PC. They don't really care about the specs, especially people who do not know much about PCs. But I do got to give credit to this PC. It definitely has some really nice RGB. It's super, super bright, as you guys can see. The front panels are also really, really bright. But other than that, this thing is not much of a performance beast. So let's see how far I can optimize this thing. Okay, so the max FPS this TikTok shop gaming PC could get without any optimizations. Pretty decent. We're getting around 170 to 190, sometimes even getting 200 FPS. But honestly, the biggest downside with this gaming PC is that there are just a ton of frame drops. Like right now, as I'm building, this thing is dropping down to around 110 to even like 90 FPS. And this is literally just in creative on a blank map but once we start building and stuff there's definitely a ton of frame drops and if you guys take a look at the fps we get in game it's still definitely pretty playable at around 110 to 120 fps but the only problem is once we start moving you guys can kind of see this thing is dropping down to around 80 fps 90 fps and literally once you guys get into a fight this thing drops down to around like 60 to 50 fps which is really really bad but let's see if i can optimize this tiktok shop gaming pc to get more consistent frames and get a higher max fps okay so the first thing i'm going to be doing is actually checking and updating the bios settings for this pc making sure the bios is up to date which is a crucial essential for getting more fps so the first thing i'm going to be doing is on your keyboard press windows and r in this pop-up you guys want to type in ms info 32 the system information is going to pop up and basically what you guys want to do is go into system model right here it says the ms challenger h5110 mh and all you guys got to do is just search up that exact motherboard for its BIOS update. So for me, it's the MS Challenger H5110 MH. And honestly, it should be the first option right here with Gigabyte. And then once you're here, go into BIOS. And this right here is the latest version, F19. And the last time it was updated was December 19th. So definitely a pretty long time. Probably meaning this motherboard is kind of old, but you guys want to go ahead and just download that. And this should pop up with all the files for your BIOS update. Now, next step is to grab any flash drive. I have this really cool peely one right now. But once you guys have your flash drive, you guys want to basically drag in this F19 file into your flash drive. Since basically this right here is the latest update and we're basically just going to drag it into this USB and go ahead and update our BIOS from there. And yeah, since this thing was a pre-built gaming PC, I doubt the motherboard drivers are even updated. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and just drag this into the USB. And once it's in there, let's go ahead and head over to BIOS, which I'm pretty sure is in your advanced startup. So let's go ahead and just restart for now. All right, so now that we're in 
BIOS, I'm gonna make sure to have flash right project on disabled. This is a Mac Sun motherboard, so it's kind of different. But let's go ahead and save changes and reset first. And when this thing boots up, we're gonna press F11 to actually run the flash drive. All right, so just press F11 while this thing is running. All right, so this thing popped up with your boot devices. And then from there, you just wanna run the flash drive with the updated BIOS just like that. It should be the second one right here, press enter. And basically it will just restart with all its updated drivers. All right, so the BIOS are finally fully updated. It was honestly a long process just because this thing wasn't like those big name brand motherboard. It took around five minutes or so, but basically just ran all its updates and we should be good from now. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is just quickly go into Epic Game and just quickly make sure all the settings are on the most optimal ones. So click on the three dots, go into options. And yeah, we have high resolution textures on. Let's go ahead and disable that and click on pre-downloaded stream assets. And yeah, this is basically what you guys wanna use and click apply. And simple, just like that, we have Epic Games and Fortnite optimized for the best quality settings. I don't even know if anyone uses high resolution textures, but. And then quickly now, I'm just gonna make sure all the window settings are optimized. First one being the game mode settings, which help optimize your PC whenever you guys are playing games. And yeah, this thing is on, so we should be good. But under that, there is graphics. Let's go ahead and click on that. And automatically, I already see Fortnite down here. If you guys do not see Fortnite, make sure to add in Fortnite to the list of apps. It should be over here in your program files and all through that. Make sure to select the Fortnite client Win64. And then from here, we can go ahead and just adjust its graphics. Make sure it's set to high performance. And as you guys can see, the GPU is the RX 580. And let's go ahead and just save those graphics preferences. And yeah, Fortnite is now on its high performance mode, which basically just utilizes Fortnite for its highest priority. And then next thing, let's go into gaming and our capture settings. And honestly, just make sure everything is turned off because this thing is running in the background recording your games, which is super useless if you guys aren't recording anything since it does decrease your performance as well. And also make sure to have game bar off. I'm pretty sure it relates with Xbox. So if you guys do not use an Xbox, make sure to turn that off. And then last thing in Windows is I wanna make sure to have all the startup apps off or at least not the important ones. And these are all the apps that start up. So let's go ahead and just disable most of these. Let's just turn off all of these. Why not? Let's go. This PC is completely fresh. So it doesn't even matter what starts up, but it's better to have nothing running in the background while we're playing Fortnite. And then the last window settings is editing our power plant, which basically just allows us not to utilize and balance our power. And since this PC is completely fresh, it's gonna be on balance. And what we basically want is the high performance plan. So you guys wanna make sure to create a new power plan, click on high performance, make sure to have this thing on never, click create, and there we go. High performance basically just favors performance, meaning this PC is using more power, but PC is always plugged in, it doesn't really matter. And there we go, we have all the window settings I wanna use for this PC. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna be doing is making sure I have the most updated game user settings, which is basically a file with all your Fortnite graphics and quality. Since I want the highest performance for this PC, it is very essential to have the best and updated game user settings. I also have it on my Discord, so if you guys wanna also use it, as well as many other tweaks in my my Discord. I will have it linked in the description. There are a bunch of tweaks for you guys to also use, but I'm just going to manually run you guys through the game user setting. Once again, go on your keyboard, press Windows and R, and then in the run tab, make sure to type in percent local app data percent. Press OK, find Fortnite game, press on save, press on config, press on Windows client, and it should be right here, game user settings. And taking a look at our game user settings, first thing you guys wanna find always is B show grass. You guys do not want the highest detail for grass, so make sure to change true to false. I'm gonna try to type this with one hand. There we go, false. Another one is GPU crash debugging. Make sure to have this on false as well. And then right under that, B stop rendering in the background. Make sure to have that on false. Since if you guys tab out, you guys will have like problems with Fortnite and stuff right under B latency true make sure to have it on false and then latency tweak two. make sure to have it on one and then from there if you guys want to use a stretch resolution you guys could right now I am on native res but if you guys want a higher FPS boost make sure to go on to like something like 1720 by 1080 or 1600 by 1080 one of those will give you an FPS boost and once I have the game user settings updated make sure to click on save all right finally I'm gonna be using something that's my favorite it's really really helpful for actually optimizing PCs well, have it linked in the description but basically this tool is called the windows utility it runs directly from your powershell and on this website it gives you the command to actually run it go into your windows powershell and basically just paste in that command press enter and it should basically just run that utility okay actually you need to run through administrator hold up so let's run powershell through administrator 
press yes, press enter, and it should launch the utility just like that. And inside the utility, there are a bunch of tweaks for you guys to actually use. At the top, it says tweaks. And there we go. We have the essential tweaks and we have the advanced tweaks. And basically, these are a bunch of Windows optimizations from deleting your temporary files, disabling hibernation, disabling telemetry, all those things that basically just boost your PC's performance. And what I suggest you guys do is just go into the recommended sections, press on standard, which basically just runs all these essential tweaks that are super helpful for your PC in getting more performance. And then once you guys have that, just go ahead and press on run tweak. And then in the background, it should run the tweak. But first, it just creates a system restore point, which is really, really helpful. So yeah, this application for optimizing your PC is really, really good, especially since this PC is a fresh PC. This thing is not optimized at all. This thing will definitely help boost our performance by a lot. Even though the specs on this PC aren't the best, this is a really good optimization for your PC. And while we wait for the Chris Titus tweaks to actually be applied, another thing I could actually do for this PC just because it has an AMD GPU is we could actually access the AMD software. And inside the AMD software, you could actually optimize the PC's GPU and overclock it. So at the top, go into performance, go into tuning. So as you guys can see, we have the RX 580 for its GPU. And what you guys wanna do is click on overclock GPU and it basically just overclocks your GPU automatically for the best settings. So it does the GPU tuning for you, fan speed, all that stuff automatically, which is really, really good. I'm not gonna manually do it on MSI Afterburner just because I do not know the specific best settings for it, especially for the RX 580. But if you guys do know it for your specific GPU, doing it for MSI Afterburner is so much better. Let's go ahead and just automatically overclock this thing, which will definitely give us a lot more performance as well. And then another thing is at the top in gaming and graphics. Right now it's on default is standard. What you guys wanna do is click on gaming, basically pushing the best performance for gaming. And then another thing you guys could do is go into your games option. And then from here, you guys could adjust different things inside your game. Some of which will give you a performance boost. I'm pretty sure there is an upscaling feature on here. So that will definitely boost your performance as well. All right, so now that this PC is fully optimized. If we take a look at the FPS we can get now, this thing is getting a pretty solid 260, 270 ish FPS. And previously we were only getting around 210, sometimes even dropping to 180 FPS. So not too bad. This thing definitely got like around 60 FPS increase, 70 FPS increase. And with a GPU like the RX 580, getting this amount of FPS increase is definitely pretty good. But the main thing I want to see is in game to see if the FPS is a lot more consistent. Because because the FPS in game before optimizing this PC had a ton of frame drops. Now taking a look at the FPS we can get in game now, it definitely improved. We're getting around a pretty decent 140 to 160 FPS. And the FPS is definitely a lot more consistent as well. On the bus right now, we're pushing up to around 400 FPS. So yeah, previously the FPS was dropping to around 90 or so. And right now it's actually running a pretty consistent 150 FPS. So not only did our max FPS go up, but we're definitely getting more consistent frames. There's not much frame drops now. He's right here. He's right here. He's right here. Crack. Dead. Okay, yeah, we're not really getting too many frame drops now, especially no frame drop that drops to around like 90 or so. The lowest it dropped to before was only like 120. And if you guys take a look at the FPS right now, we're getting around 160 to 170 FPS. So yeah, really, really good FPS increase in game. We got a pretty good around 80 FPS increase. I'll definitely take that as a win. And we got even more FPS increase for our max FPS, which is definitely really good. Oh my, oh my, oh my God, he's won. He's one. He's one. There we go. There we go. Crack. Dead. <laughs> this is actually a lot more playable now. I'm not going to lie, bro. This PC is a lot more playable now. It doesn't get those crazy frame drops anymore, which is definitely really good. It makes this PC just like 10 times more playable. Even though we didn't get like the crazy FPS increase we got in creative, it's definitely a lot better in game. I definitely like that. I don't got to complain about any like frame drops or anything anymore. I see him, I see him, I see him, I see them, I see them, I see them. Wait for it. Full box. 200. Yeah, this is like so much more playable. Holy, this is actually good. This is actually good. I see someone. 200, let's go. I gotta go and tilt it to kind of test out the FPS. I'm not gonna lie. 
Dead? Someone shooting me? Dead? Oh my. This PC is actually so much more playable. This is actually really, really good. This guy's a bot. Let's go. One shot. Dead? Yeah, still running a pretty consistent 144 FPS right now. That's crazy, because previously we were dropping down to like 60 FPS. Now this thing doesn't even drop below 120. Definitely really, really good improvement. Let's get into like a huge fight. I want to see if the frames drop below like 100. If we get into like a huge fight, something like that. Oh, 40. Oh my. Dead? Eighty. Two hundred. Crack. No. All right, we're kind of reaching into like the end game, and this thing is still not dropping below like a hundred and forty FPS. That's just crazy, bro. That's actually ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. Appreciate height. Edit. 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 First try. Oh, keep going. Crack. Did I not shoot him? There's no way. I swear to God, I saw the bullet hit him. There's no way this guy's alive. What? I saw, what? <laughs> Let's go, bro. GG's, GG's.